Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Have you ever needed to have a drop down with other option with ability to add that option in a text field that appears dynamically? I will show you how in this video. And this is a video version of the text based tutorial recently on our filament examples. We started posting free tutorials text based. So this is the text based option and I will link that in the description below. But let me demonstrate. So you can choose the existing city from the database to a shop or whatever is the main record of that resource. And in the database table of cities, we have five cities currently listed. And if you choose one of them, the record is saved. The city is Washington. And then in the shops database table, you have city ID. But then also there is a field city other string varchar field, which is empty in that case. But if I go to new shop and choose other, then first thing appears is that text field. And if I fill that in with Paris, for example, and then in the table we have Paris and in the database, we refresh, we have Paris here and city ID with the new city that was automatically added to the database. Now here's how it looks in the code. The shop resource looks like this and there are a few things to mention here. First, that drop down select needs to be live, which means that every time the drop down value changes, then the form refreshes and dynamic things happen. Then with options, we get those options from city database model and the table, but then we add plus other. Also, there's dehydrated. We will get to that in a minute. But then text input is visible only if the city ID is other. This is powered by live in combination with get dollar get as a value. And then also we add the validation that this is required if city ID is other. So there's also validation. I didn't show you that. So if you choose other and don't fill that in, we create and we have the validation error. Now, how that city is saved into the database in the create shop page of that resource, we have this. If city ID is other, then we create that city and update the city ID to be that new record ID. It's done in the method after create. And now finally, we get back to that dehydrated. Dehydrated means that the value will not be passed when submitting the form. For example, let's comment that out and let's try to do the same thing. Refresh the form, choose other and enter whatever we create. And then we have error because other then is passed as a value to city ID, which is not what we want. There's a documentation section in filament about field dehydration, what that is and how to use it. I will link that in the description below. You can read it in full. So yeah, a quick example, but pretty practical and pretty often used in the projects. And you can read more tutorials on filamentexamples.com. We will keep posting both free tutorials like this one and premium projects that would be available on GitHub for premium members of filament examples. Actually, members is the wrong word because it's a one time purchase. So you pay to get the access to the GitHub repository that contains all of those premium projects. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.